Kenya is hosting the first ever National Cancer Summit, the two-day summit which has begun today seeks to review the status of the cancer response to date in line with the Cancer Prevention and Control Act 2012 and the attainment of universal health coverage. The health sector stakeholders also aim to highlight the role of multi-sectoral strategies among stakeholders and showcase innovation, technologies and best practices in the cancer response. The new technology and access to essential treatments like brain therapy in a timely fashion. The other recommendation is on introduction uh, of a national acquisition and distribution system for essential chemotherapy drugs and radionuclides. Uh, at all centers, including the three-monthly iridium source, uh, which is used for nuclear medicine. This will allow negotiation and price optimization and ensure equitable access. Lastly, there is need to expand uh, radiotherapy capacity at our uh, facilities which are providing radiotherapy, some of them, which are uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, KU Chingu and Referral Hospital, and also at the new regional cancer centers. Some of those centers already have space to introduce a new banker, and uh, the, the recommendation was that we still need more capacity. Key topics expected to dominate the event include cancer and risk factors, the impact of the cost of cancer on households and private sector collaboration with the government to deliver on the Vision 2030 agenda to provide accurate and efficient cancer medical services. Partnerships and mobilization of resources so that we have a robust cancer control response in the country. And uh, when we look at the strategic objectives, the first area where stakeholders were able to single out was issues of cancer stigma need to be addressed really by empowering and informing the population about cancer. Then we need to strengthen engagement in partnerships at national and county level to operationalize the national level cancer control coordination structures as well as the county level structures and also to improve innovative and sustainable financial mechanisms for comprehensive cancer prevention and control of cancer data, both at the national and the subnational level. So even when we are generating the data from the county, because that's where implementation happens, there should be utilization of that data right at source. The summit also aims to commit a joint action plan and define a results accountability framework for cancer prevention and control in Kenya. We put in place relevant monitoring, evaluation and reporting structures towards a reduction of preventable uh, cancer burden in Kenya. We do know that this new framework, as well as the um, uh, national cancer strategy that it aims to, uh, uh, to enable implementation of, these are you know, what you can call words on a parchment. It's all of us in this room as stakeholders in our various capacities to breathe life in these documents if we are able to achieve. Health crisis has been looming in the country and the government is putting ways of helping cancer patients by encouraging them to go for regular screening and improving their lifestyle. Reporting for Mwangaza Prime News, Nairobi County. I'm Stella Karaoke.